So one of the things when it comes to medical billing and the uh, practice of medicine and how it's paid for is, of course, there's always this trend in the government to try to uh, pay less uh, for the different services. So obviously that can cause an issue because you have a lot of different vendors and people who are offering services. It's not just a physician. You have the hospital, you have different uh, equipment that's being used. And so in order to combat this, uh, what they're trying to do is start uh, bundled payments, meaning that basically for specific service, the government is going to pay a certain amount and you have to come in as a practitioner under that amount in order to actually make uh, any profit. And so the incentive is to eliminate waste. So there's certain things within any given uh, care episode, anytime you're having a procedure done, there's certain things that are more wasteful than others, whether that be imaging, therapy, rehab stays. In, in my practice, I generally, there are a lot of procedures that are in the bundled program. So, I mean, I do some total shoulder replacements, things like that. More so right now, it's under uh, things like total knee arthroplasty and total hip arthroplasty and things like that and different types of uh, major fracture repairs. But this is the trend. So the trend is to try to group these things together to try to save money. So you may find that right now it's more so associated with Medicare, but something that's coming soon is bundle payments uh, with private insurers and for more routine procedures that may not be total joint uh, arthroplasty. So this is something that's coming and you may already be seeing it on your insurance bill. You may have heard of this and it's just another way to try to uh, lower costs overall and basically align the incentives so that uh, the surgeon is incentivized to do the most cost-effective things and then all the people around the surgeon are incentivized as well uh, to do the same.